beautiful touch to it. Um, which I've been very, very lucky working with like Cahill and, and who's from Bowmax Records and, and Noel Cardi, the manager. They allowed me to pick every track on the album myself. Now, an, al an artist wouldn't basically usually get, an, usually get that choice. I've been very, very lucky that way. I picked the last two singles myself and I picked every track on the album. So it's worked out very, very well for me. And it's, it's material that um, I feel very, very comfortable singing. What about Chris Horn writing his own music? Yeah, I wrote, as I said, I wrote about seven or eight tracks on the, on the For You number, but um, if not, the, the next, not this single coming, the following single um, will be an original track. I'm sitting down with the guys who I've recorded with in the north called Brannigan and Malloy. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, they're gifted guys in the studio, probably one of the best, I'd say they're probably, if not the best guys, some of the best guys in the country to record with. And um, we're going to write some material, so I'm looking forward to it. I'm just about to sit back down. I've got the new keyboard in, and I'm just going to sit down and start writing new material again. That's obviously a process you enjoy, isn't it? Is yeah. that, that's something you just... It is, and you have to have time for it, because yeah. like, um, as, at the moment, I'm still around PA, PA and, 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 and two record stores and doing a lot of appearances and stuff. So you're going to have to give me time just to let me away. I think I go away on a holiday, I'd say, I might go to Jamaica for two weeks and eat a ride, you know? <laughs> <laughs> but not tell me about the groupies. I mean, there's no question that ah, you're, no, you've no, been no. very popular in, 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 those, in that way. A lot of people ask me about that, but that support, you know, I've have, I have some fantastic fans. I really, really have. Like every lot of concerts that, I, that, that, I, that I've been um, gigging at. They've been everywhere. They've been to record stores. We've followed me to record stores in Cork. They've followed me everywhere. And it's that support you can't beat. It's those loyal people who are out there buying the CDs and, and help me. And you can't beat it. You know? so, so you're still enjoy, very much enjoying that whole thing. Oh, uh, yeah, definitely. It's, it's support. And like you'd be lost without it. I even made, even if I, walk, if I walk somewhere and the guys say, oh, I couldn't handle that, or people coming up to me and stuff. But at the end of the day, like, if that's not happening, there's something going wrong somewhere. And, and I won't blank no one out from kid to. Adult, I'll always kind of stop and talk to them. Even after the concerts, I still sit and I still sign and talk to every one of them. And it's because it's those people who are paying, you know, paying in to see the show and paying, paying in to see me. So now we've got to ask you. You must have, you must be receiving fan mail letters. I'm still receiving them. Yeah. Stuff. Go on, ask go me. On, go on. Go on. Well, you tell, tell us. No, I still receive them. Yeah, even for my birthday, like I received oh, mountains of cards. You know. Wow. It, it, and again, I said it's, it's support, and it's from. It's not just from little girls, it's from, it's from all ages, right across the board, people sending in even cards and mass cards, wish me best, and yeah. it's right across the right across the board. <laughs> now I want to talk to you about merchandise, right, because on the internet... I heard this already, come yeah, on. On the internet there is merchandise, which I know you have absolutely nothing to do with. I haven't even seen it yet. Right, there is a thong with Chris Doran's face on it. What would you be at, eh? <laughs> you know? I gotta say a big thank you to John Daly who designed the website for me. You know, John has done a marvelous job over the year for me, and like as I said, gradually everything picks up. Um, on the website, eventually, like, uh, if you go to the concert, they have T-shirts and they'll have certain things on sale. But like, they're starting to to increase that now. And John is, he's, he's working. I know he's working. He's he's head off at the moment. He's doing everything with the website and everything like that. will sell. They sell like stuff like mugs and they'll sell. Um, even I believe now there's stuff like candles and there's, there's these light and things. I don't know for concerts. So it will start. Yeah, but it just it just takes time. The con I think at the moment everything is kind of concentrated more on the album and trying to build a reputation before. Tell me about the future. Um, does Chris Dorn ever see himself married with children, settling down, or is that hopefully just one day? Equation? Yeah, it's just uh, it's just been so just so busy at the moment with with, with everything um, with the CD. Yeah, but hopefully, yeah, someday I will. 2005. What does it hold for you? Because I suppose a lot of people say we've seen Eurovision stars come and go win win or lose the Eurovision they've crashed and burned yeah um, no I won't what's gonna happen to Chris Lord? Um apparently you just heard the lads on 2FM saying this most I mean, I'm the most successful anyway at the moment for the, to come out of the Eurostar <laughs> show you know but um, definitely the album is out and I'll have another couple of singles out and hopefully by February or March we're challenging the, the English market it's something I want to give a go um, the guys in Bomex Records, like in Ireland, they distribute it for like so Craig David, for Whitney Houston, they distribute it for Boyzone, for the Spice Girls, so they have the huge contacts. So if I don't try it, I'll never know, so I may as well give it a try. Yeah, he signed with this new crowd called Bomex, and they have distribution in, in the UK, and um, he's, they're, very, they're very impressed with him, and, and they, they think he'd do well in the UK, so that they want to put him out over there. So um, I think he's, ta he's talked about maybe taking a break to go over to the UK and maybe concentrate on the UK for a year because he really has done as much as he can here. Um, so I, I'd imagine we mightn't see as much of him live and stuff as we would have over the last, well, since the, since the Eurovision was over, since last May. So um, 
Good luck to me, no. So can we expect to see that in 2005 or 2006? Yeah, ho or 2005, hopefully, we'll start. Yeah. Plus, I'll be here. Like, a lot of people are saying to me, oh, don't go, you know, but it's, it's, I'm not going. I'll be here between Ireland and England and Max. So I've got to give it a try. Plus, uh, we, even with the Eurovision, the few points that we did get, we got them from England. You know, so the, 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 it, was a, it showed a good bit of support from England as well. And now, I, I, I <coughs> hope you're earning a living at this, because I know, as I said, for a long time you were... I'll tell you, I think <laughs> no matter how much of these Euros you're having, you'll spend them, you know? <laughs> they're, they're just, they're just a waste of time. <laughs> but you are actually earning money now from the music industry. Yeah. Good to hear. Oceans are